नमस्कार जजलपा एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द लिसनर्स स्पेशली ग्रेड नाइन स्टूडेंट्स इट्स मंडे टुडे एंड आई एम लीलाधर अधिकारी योर इंग्लिश टीचर फ्रॉम कीर्तिपुर सेकेंडरी स्कूल दैट इज लोकेटेड नेक्स्ट टू नेपाल टेलीकॉम इन कीर्तिपुर दिस क्लास इज ब्रॉडकास्ट थ्रू द रेडियो वेब्स ऑफ नेवा एफ एम which is presented by Anak Media for Nepal Bhasa Academy in Kirtipur and the organizer of the class is Kirtipur Municipality I hope you all are benefited to some extent in this critical time from listening to these classes and doing the activities my dear students are you aware of the necessary precautions to be taken to save yourself and your family from the covid-19 i am sure you are aware conscious and responsible corona virus caused covid-19 is increasing day by day and we miss our school so much don't we that's why we have to develop our skills through online means students we have to change the challenges and obstacles into opportunities at this time develop your self learning strategies yourself have you read and franks the diary of a young girl if you haven't read it you will feel that your problems seem far smaller than the difficulty she had why don't you keep your own diary during this critical situation dear all let's start today's class are you ready with your pen paper and the textbook that is english grade 9 open your textbook is page number 41 unit 4 expressing condolence and sympathy students condolences are expressions of comfort support or sympathy offered to the family and relatives of somebody who has died somebody who has died have you ever seen or read the messages of condolences or obituary in newspapers or magazines in nepali there is samavedana or hardik shraddhanjali sympathy is a feeling of pity or sorrow for the suffering bad luck loss or misfortune of another dear all let's see exercise 1 that is reading on page number 41 read think and act please describe the picture who are the girls what are they talking about read the short conversation under the picture okay the conversation goes like this dolma Why do you look so upset, Sarita? Sarita, my grandma passed away yesterday. Dolma, I'm sorry to hear that. How old was she? Sarita, she was eighty-four. Yes, there are two students, maybe classmates. Dolma and Sarita. Sarita looks so sad. Why? Exactly, her grandmother passed away the day before. Well, we are going to read a message of condolence published in a magazine and a letter of sympathy. Students, you not only read the lines that are given, but you see and 
study also the layout or format of the text because in your writing section you have to produce such messages and letters while writing the messages of condolences and letters you have to manage the layout or format of the text you know different text have different layouts and formats before you read let me set two questions for you to answer on completion of your reading activity silently question number one write down please who was late Bir Bahadur Shahi once again who was late Bir Bahadur Shahi in question number two why did Hamid write the letter to Sarita? Why did Hamid write the letter to Sarita? Dear all, now it's your turn to read text A and text B silently on page number 42 and 43. Don't you have a textbook? If so, let me read aloud for you. Listen carefully. The first text, text A, condolence. A says, read the following message of condolence published by Supreme, published by Supreme and his class friends. It was published in their school magazine, The Orion. The Orion is the name of the school magazine. Obituary. Late. Bir Bahadur Shahi, we are deeply saddened to learn about the sudden, premature and untimely demise of Mr. Bir Bahadur Shahi, an English teacher at Patan Higher Secondary School, Lalitpur. Late Shahi suffered a massive brain hemorrhage. He was helpful as well as popular among the students and his colleagues. We extend our heartfelt condolence to his bereaved family and friends grieving the irreparable loss. Irreparable loss. May the departed soul be at eternal peace with our Heavenly Father. Class 9 students, Patan Higher Secondary School, Lalitpur. Now, let me go to text B. It is a letter. Read the sympathy letter by Hamid who was unable to attend Bir Bahadur's funeral. He had gone to Mecca as a pilgrim. You know, Hamid is a Muslim guy. He, ha he, has, he had gone to Mecca at the time of uh, Bir Bahadur's death. No sooner had he returned home he sent a letter to Birbadur's wife. The letter goes like this. Damak 9 Zhapa, October 14. Dear Sharita, I was shocked to learn about the premature passing away of your husband. He was a wonderful person and was always ready to help others. His death has caused an immeasurable loss not only to your family but to all of us. I express my sincere, sincere sympathy to you in your profound bereavement. May God grant you enough courage to withstand this shock. Amit. Okay, students. Uh, have you got the answer of the first question I said before you read or listened? You are right. Late Bir Bahadur Shahi was an English teacher at Patan Higher Secondary School, Lalitpur. The question was, who was late Bir Bahadur Shahi? Now, the next question, the second question. Why did Hamid write the letter to Sharida? Yes, Hamid wrote the letter because 
he was the friend or well wisher of sahi family and he couldn't attend the funeral well dear all let's try to do exercise 1 on page 43 you have to find a single word with similar meaning to the given words or phrases write them down on your copy the letters in brackets indicate the texts a refers to the first text that is the message of condolence and b means the second one the sympathy letter there are given a and b in the bracket therefore don't get confused with them they refers to the text the first and the second one now let's go to the words or phrases the first word you have to find in the text a has the meaning liked by many what is the single word that means liked by many that's it it's an easy word for you popular p o p u l a r popular and the next word with the meaning death in text a synonym of death let me give you a hint the first letter is d you are clever that is demise spelling is d e m i s e demise and the third word in text a the meaning is before time hence you can divide this word into three parts with a prefix and a suffix that's it untimely u n t i m e l y untimely where u n is the prefix and l y is the suffix the next meaning given in your textbook is people working together what do you call them the people work at the same office it's a bit longer word with 10 letters you are right colleagues the spelling is c o l l e a g u e s colleagues it means the people work together at the same office the another meaning given is lasting forever can you guess the word single word with the meaning lasting forever exactly eternal eternal e t e r n a l eternal it means lasting forever long lasting and the word from reading text b with the meaning very deep or serious what is the single word that means very deep or serious in text b exactly it is profound p r o f o u n d profound profound means very deep serious severe the okay profound profound bereavement bereavement that is a tragedy a kind of tragedy uh another one is uh, uh can you find a single word for uh the phrase that can't be measured it can't be measured it's also a long word with suffix and prefix the suffix is able a b l e and the prefix is im i am respectively you are right is immeasurable immeasurable that is that cannot be measured measure immeasure immeasurable and the last word you have to find is the synonym of resist or endure is a verb preceded by two 
Yeah, that's it. The word is withstand. The meaning of withstand is resist or endure. Dear all, now let's uh, move to exercise two. That is a matching activity. Match the expressions under column A with their suitable continuation or endings under column B. Here, I don't suggest you to draw a line to match. You'd better write on your exercise book. Column A goes like this. Uh, number A, Bir Bahadur. Number B, Sarita. Look at your book on page 43. There are five expressions under column A and the same number of under column B. Same number of expression under column B. Number one, column B, extend condolence to the family. Number two was untimely and it goes uh, similarly. Dear students, who extends condolences? Who gives condolence message? Yes, the students, the students of class 9. And what was untimely? Before time. What happened before time? You are clever. Bir Bahadur's death was untimely. He wasn't very old. I am reading out the second column. That is column B. Expressions. Now number 3. Writes a letter to Bir Bahadur's wife. Who writes a letter to Bir Bahadur's wife? You are correct. Amit does. And was a teacher in a school. The Dadat was a teacher in a school. Who was a teacher in a school? That's easy. Bir Bahadur sir. And who is Bir Bahadur's wife? That is Sarita. Sarita is Bir Bahadur's wife. To whom Hamid wrote this sympathy letter. My dear all, are you doing the activities? Well, exercise 3 on page 44 is true or false. Now, let's see and I'll read or you will read the text once again. Let's read the statements and find whether they are true or false. A. Bir Bahadur passed away in his old age. B. The message of condolence is for his friends and family. C. Hamid didn't attend the funeral because he didn't like it. D. His colleagues liked him very much. E. Hamid is perhaps one of his colleagues. F. The loss of life can be repaired. Students, now we have to go to read the text. Now read the text silently and try to find whether the statements are true or false. The students, now go to text A and text B. Text A says, let me read for you once again. Condolence. Read the following message of condolence published by Supreme and his class friends. It was published in the school magazine, The Orion. Obituary, late Bir Bahadur Shahi. We are deeply saddened to learn about the sudden, premature and untimely demise of Mr. Bir Bahadur Shahi, an English teacher at Patan Higher Secondary School, Laritpur. Late Sahi suffered a massive brain hemorrhage. He was helpful as well as popular among the students and his colleagues. We extend our heartfelt condolence to his bereaved family and friends grieving the irreparable loss. May the departed soul be at eternal peace with our Heavenly Father. Class 9 students, Patan Higher Secondary School, Lalitpur. Now, text B. 
read the sympathy letter by Hamid, who was unable to attend Bir Bahadur's funeral, he had gone to Mecca as a pilgrim. No sooner had he returned home, he sent a letter to Bir Bahadur's wife. The letter goes like this. Damak 9, Chapa, October 14. Dear Sharita, I was shocked to learn about the premature passing away of your husband. He was a wonderful person and was always ready to help others. His death has caused an immeasurable loss not only to your family but to all of us. I express my sincerest sympathy to you in your profound bereavement. May God grant you enough courage to withstand this shock. Amit. My dear all, now let's see the statements whether they are true or false. Number A. Bir Bahadur passed away in his old age. True or false? False. Why? Can you give a reason? You are right. It was an untimely death because of massive brain hemorrhage. Untimely means before time. He was not very old. B. The message of condolences is for his friends and family. That's true. Because the message of condolences is given for the friends and family of the dead person. Now, she, Hamid didn't attend the funeral because he didn't like it. Yes, it's false. Because at that time, he had gone to Mecca as a pilgrim. He was a Muslim. Muslim. You know, Muslim visit Mecca as a pilgrim in a certain time, period of time. Now, D, his colleagues, his colleagues means Bir Bahadur's colleagues, liked him very much. Yes, it's true. Because he was helpful and popular among the friends. Popular, a popular person is liked by many people. Now, the next one. Amit is perhaps one of his colleagues. That means Amit may be the colleague of late Bidwadur Shai. Yes, he can be. So it's true. The last number the loss of life can be repaired. True or false, students? Exactly. It's false. It's an irreparable, irreparable loss that cannot be repaired. Or dead person cannot come again. You know. Therefore, it is irreparable. That cannot be repaired. Dear all, exercise 4 on page 44 is your homework. You have to read the two texts carefully and answer the given questions. The questions are A. Who was the, what was the name of the school where Bir Bahadur worked? Bir Bahadur saw the school. It's quite easy. B. What was the cause of death? What was the cause of death of Bir Bahadur sir? C. Uh, according to text, uh, to the text, what was Bir Bahadur like? Uh, you have to write the qualities of Bir Bahadur sir. Uh, D. How are the texts in the first and the second box different? Okay, there are two different texts. Text A and text B. You know, text A has different purpose and text B has different purpose. Text A is often published uh, in the newspaper or in the magazine or on the notice board of the office uh, uh, or somewhere else. And text B is a personal one. It is received by a person. It is a letter. And E, who is the message of condolence for? And who will receive the letter? Okay, who are the addressee? Okay, message of condolence for whom? For the dead one? No. The dead one does not receive the message of condolence. And the second one is the letter. Who will receive the letter? It is quite easy. And 
you have to do these uh, exercises as your homework. And one more homework for you that I set. Please write it down. Please write it down. COVID-19 has taken away so many lives so far. COVID-19 has taken many lives so far. Imagine that one of the deceased persons is your friend or relative. The dead ones, one of the dead ones is your friend or relative. Write a condolence message to be published in the Rising Nepal. Write a condolence message to be published in the Rising Nepal on behalf of your school or family. On behalf of your school or family. Include the points given on page number 54, exercise B. You have to see in your textbook page number 54 exercise b the points are given there hints are given there for you clues are given dear all while writing pay attention to the choice of words and the format or layout of the message submit your homeworks to your subject teacher of your school through online means well students that's the end of our live radio class thank you so much for tuning in we have got great in English coming up next with Mr. Shitola for the technical support of my class. Let me express my sincere gratitude to Unique Sakyar. Me, your English teacher, Radha Radhikari, will be with you next week here again. Have a good time ever. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you for tuning in.